Well, the global phenomenon is back for another year. San Antonio Zoo's Cry Me a Cockroach fundraiser is now underway. But it's not the only event the zoo is hosting this month. Let's check in with Kyle Perez from the San Antonio Zoo to tell us more. And of course, Kyle, we want to talk about the cockroaches first because this has got you know, received global attention, really. But tell us all about it. Absolutely. So it is receiving global attention right now. Last year, we had over 8,000 donations from all 50 states and over 30 different countries. So it's really been amazing to see it go past the San Antonio Zoo walls, past Texas, past the United States and all over the world. But it's something that people can get engaged with from anywhere just by going to SAZoo.org, $10 for a cockroach. You give us the name of your ex, and then we'll send you a video of it being fed to an animal at the zoo. <laughs> I love that. And I haven't seen the video. So how exactly do you say, you know, this is so-and-so? I don't want to throw a name out there, but. <laughs> sure. So there's even, so we just sent a standard video of the, of the cockroach <laughs> being fed to an animal. But for $150, all for a good cause, mind you, we can record a custom message that you dictate for us for us to record over the video of the roach, rodent, or veggie being fed to an animal at the zoo. So we've seen quite a variety of messages uh, from all over the world. Some are in different <laughs> languages as well. So it's been really fun, but for some people it's fun and funny. Some people it's therapeutic, others it's a little petty. Whatever it might be, it's helping secure a future for wildlife at the zoo. But I love looking at the pictures that we're running right now, the birds eating the cockroaches, and their, their faces are thinking, this isn't petty, this is great. Send me some more. All right. Well, uh, Kyle, before we get to the other events you're hosting, you know, talk about the fundraiser itself because you guys do so much at the San Antonio Zoo. How does this help uh, continue uh, promoting uh, your efforts there? Yeah, so everything at the zoo is all for a nonprofit. We're a nonprofit fully funded by donors. And it's really great how we engage with different people. And this is just another dynamic way that we can do it. Every ticket that you purchase at the zoo goes back to our efforts of uh, defending wildlife here in Texas, but also around the world. We have conservation projects in Japan, in China, in Peru, and all of it's for the betterment of the animals. So this is just another fun way that people can get engaged from all over the world. All right, Kyle, let's go from heartbreak to finding new love. You guys are also helping out with that too. Tell us about it. We sure are. So if you're not so upset at your ex and you're ready to find a new ex, we have an event <laughs> next Saturday on the 11th called Meet Your Next X. And it's a singles event at the zoo. You know we come up with fun names, you know we come up with fun campaigns, but it really is a beautiful time where we'll give you a different like little sticker that identifies you as single, looking, maybe taken. And so it really is a dynamic place where you can come hang out with some animals, ride the carousel, we'll have special food and speed dating, all sorts of different fun activations that night. So if you don't have plans for Saturday or you don't have a date, come meet your next ex at San Antonio Zoo. <laughs> and I like how you also have taken. So if you are a couple, you can still enjoy the festivities over there. Maybe we won't even say it, find somebody new. I'm sure that doesn't <laughs> happen though, right, Kyle? <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, well, tell us really quick. We have just a few seconds left. How can we sign up for Cry Me a Cockroach or both if you want to find new love? For sure. Just go to SAZU.org. You will find all our activations. And just remember the Crimea Cockroach campaign. It doesn't have to be for your next. You could do it for a friend and it's still equally fun and exciting and you're still supporting for wildlife. So whether you go meet your next ex or you're ready to get over your ex, we got you covered at SAZU. Okay, one more question, Kyle. I, I know my producer is going to kill me, but was there like a popular name last year that you guys saw a lot of? Yeah, last year was Jacob and Sarah, and right now Matt is in the lead. Oh, Matt. Okay, we're, we're going to have poor Matt's out there. All right, Kyle, well, thanks so much for joining us. Attention <laughs> all um, Matt X's. <laughs> Send some more money in for the cockroaches. Thanks, Kyle, for joining us this morning. And happy Thank Valentine's you. Day. Happy Valentine's Day.